I've seen everybody from lawyers to, you know, secretaries to unemployed people just ruin their lives. You know, at the end of the day, I was the one that profit, profited from it, so I don't really care, you know. But now I look at it, you know, where are those people today? I was slow at school. I had learning blocks. I wasn't very academically inclined, as you put it. Um, so it was a struggle for me. So I started off in minor drugs, doing dealing pot, stealing cars, that sort of thing. Um, and pretty much at the age of 18, I was introduced to what people know as P now, but back then it was speed, old school speed. And then it went from old school speed to smoking, which is crystal meth, which is P. I wasn't going to be tired. I almost felt like I've found something that has made me feel invincible that can make me feel through getting through the day. You know, taking a car and finding a picture of, you know, a single mother or any kids, you know, in the car. And not going, oh, should I be, should I really take this car? So it all went from petty crime graduating into the bigger scale of crime. You know, the kidnappings, the uh, bashing people, the meth. So I was a wolf in sheep's clothing. I wasn't always walking around Queen Street in a patch. I'd go and drink down in Spy Bar on the waterfront with demographics of 25 to 40 year old people that are all in a 50 to $100,000 earning bracket and hey, yeah, they enjoy ecstasy, you know. Next thing you're getting them up, you know, the heritage, city life, having a party. And, you know, they go, oh, what's that? You know, the girls are saying, oh, what's that? And say, oh, well, you have a try. Meth took me from being emotionally quite a sensitive person to just being, uh, yeah, I don't know, an arsehole, I suppose. At the end of the day, I just didn't have those feelings anymore. We did a map of our offending, and I was looking at it. And pretty much my chart could tell me what lives I'd ruined, and at what point in my time I'd ruined them. And it was, a, it was the slippery slope at the end of the day. And by the time, you know, I'd got to the bottom, I was standing there. I wasn't throwing rocks, I was shooting a gun, you know. 